Hello everybody, my name is Aceface and welcome back to the T0 to T6 Abyss series. We're here in our first T5 electric site here. Hopefully it doesn't go really bad. We're going to attack the NPCs straight away with our Scorch. And I'm going to focus on surviving and killing more than loot extraction here. Just because it's the first site we do, so we want just to be a little bit extra careful, you know. I don't want to go too crazy here. Uh, our ship here has got a pretty decent amount of tank with a good... Uh, the with the good implants and the good arm repairs so hopefully it'll go good we've also got a pretty decent amount of capacitor 47 gigajoules a second only 40 gigajoules no you know not so much just only 40 gigajoules <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's something we've got something it's going to be a very difficult time for us to get new to that here so that's a great thing unlike the firestorms we'll have a really nice time uh, avoiding damage here and even though we added the nanobot accelerator we had a capacitor control circuit here but a nanobot accelerator nanobot accelerators they make our arm repairs uh, repair faster so we consume more capacitor but even then we've got just so much extra capacitor because of the electrical site so there's really no problem whatsoever here and we do nice damage as well because the npcs do not have like all this big buff in the armor and they also have reduced em resist and that's the resist type that i think that we have best time uh, doing damage against. Let's see here, wreck these guys. But I'm just going to focus on uh, doing this as quickly as possible. Not go for the extraction nodes unless when they're like the last one. Just to be on the safe side. I've purchased a new skin, the Sarum skin. Oh, it only costs one million, but this is a skin we're going to have because it's, looks, in my opinion, a little bit more premium. And we are going with a premium uh, zealot here because we're in T5 now. So that's uh, to signify that we're in the T5s. You know, I actually had a Federation Navy 10MN afterburner. And I had a Tech 2 10MN afterburner before because of the uh, because of my previous fit. Not really needing any faction. Just had uh, Tech 2 was enough. But I need the Federation Navy because of fitting requirements. But then you know what I realized? Federation Navy cost like 40 million ISK, 30 million ISK. And I didn't have enough ISK. So I bought a stupid compact one. Uh, to have it temporarily here just until I have enough money to be able to afford a Federation Navy. <laughs> so it's a little bit silly here, but it's just the way it is. Uh, I'm going to also try to get damage implants and damage modules. That is very useful here because we want to be able to do these sites as quick as possible. And eventually we will be getting pretty hefty damage implants. Uh, like our pod is going to be properly decked out later. So... Uh, I think it's good that we invest a bit in the damage because that's not, now we could say we're going to be upgrading our tank for T6 uh, quite a bit because we're but, but there's a reason for that it's not that we're in actuality our ship is going to be tanking so much more it's because we want to tank so much that we're able to free up an extra low slot so that we can remove one of the resist modules so that we can have three damage modules because we need those three damage modules to do T6s reliably otherwise we might have a little bit of a rough time in the uh, in the T6s because T6s you need to really factor in the time completion there because you have so many NPCs in T6s. Let's wreck this escort here. Oh, I can't really hit him because of his good tracking. Let's go here. But we're in T5, guys, we're in T5. Imagine that, one more filament left and then win the T6, we will then finally achieve our goal of getting to T6 can't wait for that <laughs> it's a long road to go it's a long road to go because the ship and the implants are very expensive for the t6 fit here but we'll become a master of the t5 uh, electrics and eventually we'll have glory Get the scorch in here got some extraction that's quite close let's go for the buy after cash straight away straight in Oh, we're getting blinded to death, so we can't really do much here. Let's lock anything up. Our optimal, uh, we can only 34 kilometers targeting. Not at all good. <laughs> we can just target just a little bit. There we go, destroyed one. Nice, because they got so little HP, these Leshaks. There we go, and we have so much more thermal resist, so we'll tank Triglav is like an absolute boss with the 90%. Thermal resist. <laughs> Look at that. It means that we're essentially getting 10 times the amount of HP a second that we've got. 980 HP a second. So we're really tanked properly here. Properly rock solid tanked here. Let's get that blinding because he's really annoying. Causing so many problems. Even 92% even. Even more. 
the amount of tank we get as trigger armies is insane. That thermal arm um, hardener does wonders here. Can we hook up a few of these guys? Oh, we can maybe just deploy a few drones here just to do some extra damage if they auto aggress. Yeah, they auto aggress a little bit here to these little rogue drones. There they go, help us a little bit as well. Maybe have the drones help out a little bit on the, that blind over there. It's annoying, that guy is far away, you see him? He's far away, that blinder. Really annoying. We're gonna have to focus on these rogue drones instead. Wreck these guys, that's good. We've got really good tracking here, it's because of the tracking part, and that's why I was thinking, why have we got so good tracking? Unusually good tracking. So many blinders, usually Leshak waves are really quick, but just because we've got so many blinders, it's so much slower. Oof. Look how far we've come. We've come so far. Before we were in that scrubby Punisher. Before we were in that scrubby Punisher. Now we're in the bl pretty blinged Zealot here. Doing the T5s. I remember when we lost that retribution a long time ago as well. We lost a retribution. And we had to re regain that isk. It was took quite a bit of time, but now we're here. Okay, we'll go back to the transfer conduit. Oh, this is pretty fast. We're doing the... It's a pretty fast wave we've got here. We've got this... Uh, yeah, well, it's obviously it's, because it's fast because we've got a Leshak wave. But seven minutes and we've completed the second room. We're a little bit on the slow side because of our compact 10mn afterburner. But it's okay. It's not... The Zealot doesn't focus a lot on speed tanking. He focuses on completely brute force tanking everything and these trigger larvins it's a nice time here look at that 93 percent thermal resist with only 98 hp a second like it's not like the most amount of hp a second i've ever seen for a tank 98 hp per second but when you factor in those resists that is over 1k dps tank here i'm resetting the the resists on the reactive arm harder just because we are so specialized on a resist so imagine if we were to encounter now suddenly uh, EM based NPCs, then it will be a bad time. And I have lost a Draugr once to that kind of situation where I wasn't, I had my resist hyper specialized and it didn't turn out too well. Uh, okay, let's get, oh, there's nothing in there, okay. Let's get null warp, null charge. What is the worst here? Null charge is the worst here because we've not got any, we don't have to think too much about capacitor, but uh, I would prefer to target webs, but we've not got any webs here. So we'll just go to the bioadaptive cache here. Oh, the scenery looks really nice. I really like the scenery of the electric. It looks a bit better than the, the uh, than the firestorms because of how it looks like, pretty, like a bit like sky. Okay, good. Let's cruise in. Oh, we can use our drones as well to aid a bit in the in terms of the damage. Comply, comply. Oh, we're taking a bit of damage here. Come on, I don't want to die in our first room to Charybdis. <laughs> that would be really unfortunate. We're tanking though quite a lot. Are we getting? grazing shots from Charybdis, that's why we're taking very little damage. Have we got Diva Automata Suppressor here? Yeah, we have. Fortunately. I think we need to be a little bit careful about Charybdis, because we are taking quite a bit of hits from Charybdis here. Look at that, you can see? You get big hits from Charybdis. So we would, it would be nice to have some implants, just in case, actually. Or the boosters, that is. We can always overheat if we need to. Let's go for this here. Let's deploy some drones on Charybdis instead, that's a better idea. Start chipping away on Charybdis. 13 million isk, okay good. And now we're done with the site. We could earn more if we were to go to the extraction nodes, quite a bit more. The extraction nodes are just going to be so much more than the T4s. But unfortunately here, we are not able to... Well, I wanted to be a little bit on the cautious side. Because I don't then want to go too farming mode, especially when we've got something like Caribdis Tyrannos here, which seems to be doing quite a bit of damage in the T5s. I underestimated how much damage. Like, we're taking some big hits. Sometimes we had half armor, even. What is our, is our resist profile? It's quite even. There we go. Now we'll go for this Scylla over here. Oh no. No, we're losing a drone now see if we can save that drone. Unlikely. 
Oh, we did actually. We managed to save him. So let's see if we're able to just face tank Kerbdis Tyrannus by just moving straight at Kerbdis. Seems like we are not able to tank Kerbdis. The amount of damage Kerbdis does is pretty high. Have we got default tomato suppressors? Yeah, there is one over there. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, so when we take these smashing shots, it's not a good time for us. So we do have to go in a slight arc to be able to minimize damage here. And that's where a slightly better afterburner would be favorable. Now I'll go for corn flag. Maybe web this guy. Web, please. Web. Not like web is going to do much against curb. This oh, we stopped exactly when we were just about to get in range. Then my move command was so I had stopped. Web, please. Web, please. There we go. Now we can just cruise around here. That's good. Okay, so this T5 site done. Pretty quick initial T5. Happy about that. Not at all too bad. Uh, let's check a look at the loot. I've not really paid too much attention to the loot here. Abyssal loot, 38 million. Oof, that's not good actually. Because uh, the filament costs 25 million. <laughs> Whopping 12, 13 million -esque. Oh, I hope this is not the case where it's just the same stuff as the T4 electrics where we're barely earning anything but I think we should be eventually earning something I feel like almost uh, the T4 fire storms might be even uh, more profitable it could be there is a risk but I think that we could uh, it, you the loot in my experience is about double in T4 fire storm compared to the or T4s in general compared to T5 so hopefully it will be okay it will be okay. But if I keep getting really bad runs like this, it's not at all going to be fun. So that's our first T5 run in the Zealot, the premium Zealot in the Sarum skin here in the T5 electrics. Hopefully the loot is going to get a bit better. I was pretty much expecting this to be the exact case here in the first one where we get so little profit because of the silly, uh, <laughs> the, the silly filament cost. But it's just the way it is, it's just the way it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. Next stop is T6. We're going to work towards that. If you did enjoy the video or learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.